Okay, okay, that is good. Please turn off your cell phones. Hello and welcome yet for another movie review. Today we're going to talk about Toy Story. As you know, Toy Story 1 was out in 1995. Toy Story 2 was out in 1999. Toy Story 3 was out in 2010. And now we have Toy Story 4 in 2019. What did I like about the movie? The actors, the voiceover, the action, the story, the wings. This is all what we're going to see in the movie review of today, right now. Toy Story 4 is not only a movie on top of 1, 2, 3, it's also a, a new evolution of the life of the toy. And uh, what happened is that Woody is still here, symbol of the old generation. And uh, so he, he lands in a new family with a little girl called uh, Bonnie. And Bonnie will create a new toy called uh, Forky, that is actually more like a spoon. So maybe they could have gathered the two names and, uh, and call him Forky, I don't know. Anyway, but Forky is here as the symbol of the new generation. And these two generations will help each other, will help each other all along the adventure, all along what will happen in the movie. And uh, Woody uh, is being aware that now he is not anymore the main toy of the toys that Bonnie is playing with. So what I like about Toy Story 4 is like it's not anymore only a story about toys, it's also self-development, like how to deal with, uh, with the fear of being rejected, the fear to be left over, and, uh, and uh, so I'm, I'm not going to say who, who, which character is concerned by which emotions, but what I liked is that uh, uh, the fact that it's, uh, it can be watched by the eyes of an adult at the same time as the eyes of, uh, of a kid, because the movie relates some situations that could have happened to any one of us. It seemed to be the signature between Pixar Animation Studio and Walt Disney, uh, that the fact that they bring in this aspect of self-development added to the story. And actually, I, I could make, we could make the parallel with, uh, with the movie Inside Out back in 2015. The movie has been rewarded in 2016 for uh, best, uh, best animated feature film. And uh, what I liked about uh, Inside Out is that they split the personalities, they built in the, the, the characters, and it, it comes really emotional. On this aspect, uh, Toy Story 4 is not helped by Toy Story 1, 2, 3, because the old generation is already here, the characters are already built, their personality is already built, so it's, uh, it's rather hard to to move on with this as you can only add little aspects so the new generations uh, the new generation in Toy Story 4 helps for that and it's a really uh, kind of fresh air that uh, that is in Toy Story 4 and adds a, uh, uh, help us to come back on this process on building characters and uh, and feeling uh, feeling the the new personalities so I liked it about it, but though I felt like it's and it's a, a, a negative point for me on this movie is like the story is a bit flat. I would have liked to to feel more emotional, uh, feel more emotional about the movie. I would have liked them to build more emotional moments because now the the rebound that I found in the movie like are a bit too much expected. I would say, and uh, yeah, that's that's my my negative point about the movie. There is one wink I noticed in the movie is uh, the Dinoco gas station. Like there is one scene in Toy Story 4 that takes place in a, in a gas station. And actually the, the name of the gas station is Dinoco with the dinosaur symbol. So it's the same gas station, I mean the same brand that has been used in cars for uh, the racing team and in Toy Story 1 with the, with the gas station. I don't know if it's the same gas station they reuse. Uh, but still, the name is is, uh, is here. What I noticed in the movie is like one of the dolls, well, actually they, they are all dolls, so it's, uh, it's rather not easy to find out, but one of the dolls in the antique shop named uh, Branson is actually looking uh, like the, the Goosebump with uh, the movie with Jack Black, you know, the, the villain in Goosebump number two named Slappy, and the, the two characters are almost the same, so it's a kind of yellow card I put on Sony, on, not on Sony Picture, but on, uh, on Pixar Animation Studio because it's, it looks like a character that has been created by Sony Picture. But it's not a negative yellow card, you know, it's rather saying like uh, 
Pixar, you don't need to copy anyone because uh, you have so much creativity on your teams and so much creativity in the movies you are producing that please don't don't grab some characters on other other movies, okay? So here is my little yellow card. Now we're going to watch out for the podium of this week. Is now Toy Story 4 on the podium? The answer is no. We still have in third position Men in Black, in fourth position Aladdin, Still number second, we have Avenger. And in first position, still fighting with my family. Now in our top movies, you see the entrance of our movie of today, Toy Story 4, number five. We have now a new category, which is flop movies. And so we have in third position, Pokemon Detective Pikachu. In second position, Godzilla King of the Monsters and in first position, X-Men Dark Phoenix. What I need to say is that you may share my opinion about the movies or you may not share my opinion about the movies, but what I suggest is that you make up your mind and go to watch one of these movies, maybe one of them or all of them, it would be even better. What I must say also is that if you like the video, press the like button, even better the subscribe button or the best option would be to press the ring bell so that you get all notifications by mail when uh, when the new review is out on the channel on my side i tell you bye bye and see you for the next review bye bye ah uh, you can turn on your cell phones <laughs>